we had some grueling, grueling days and nights. Yeah. And so when we finally had finished product, it was like, we were like elated, like, oh God, like we did it. We, okay, we finally completed that or whatever, you know, cause a lot went into this man. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mentally, physically, like like Mike was saying, like we 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 laid it on the line for this. Average Joe premieres on BET Plus on June 26th. I had a chance to watch the series. I really enjoy it. Enjoyed it. So, but how would you best describe this series? <laughs> hey, uh, um, yeah, wow, I, it's it's hard to pin down. It's. Um, it's a drama. It's a suspenseful drama with a little brevity uh, yeah. to to lighten, you know, lighten the load. But it is it's a buddy picture. It's a, it's I, I mean, I'm all over the place because I, you could label it several things. It's a show about family. First and foremost, it's mm -hmm. about family. It's about bond. It's and that's family is, is blood family, but it's also friendship. Yep. And that is at the core of this show is the family dynamic and what these people would do for each other to help each other. Um, and you throw them into this mix of this crazy uh, world of, of organized crime. And, and the title is apt. It's Average Joe. These are just simple, average blue collar folks who yeah. find themselves in extraordinary circumstances. Mm -hmm. And Dion, I wanted to ask you this. You play Joe, who, as Michael mentioned, is a hardworking individual, but gets into some trouble, which sets everything off. So ultimately, what attracted you to this role? Um, uh, the script, the script is like twist and turn throughout the whole series, man. And, and not only that, being able to play a character with, with so many different, you know, uh, depths was something that really caught my eye. You know, this guy is, you know, is menacing, he's funny, you know, he's charismatic, he's confused, he's lost, he's, you know, scared. He, he's a, he's a lot of things, and so to get all of that in one character was something that you know, you know, uh, resonated with me. On top of the characters, the, the 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 cast, the cast of characters was like, oh my god! Like I I just want to be around these people and, yeah. and and work with them. Yeah. So like just just reading it made me be like, oh man, this this coming to life would be something else. Absolutely. Michael, I want to ask you this. You play Benjamin, also known as Touch. He is a uh, police officer that's ha that has his share of issues and also is Joe's uh, longtime uh, best friend. Um, for you, what was it like playing a character like him throughout the entire season? Um, it was challenging, man, and it was it was yeah. exhausting in the best way. Um for precisely the reason that Dion was talking about, it all comes down to the script and the character. And I read this way back in July of last year, and it was, it just spoke to me. And the challenge of playing a character that has all these secrets and has all these issues and these dark sides, um, to be able to, to straddle that that line, to, to walk the the edge of that that sword and keeping those, trying to keep those things hidden from his best friends. He's also a cop. He's trying to maintain his life professionally, but things personally are starting to come un unhinged. So I found those four or five months that we were shooting the show at uh, times to be mentally and emotionally exhausting. But like I say, in the best way, because that's what we want to do as, as actors and artists is stretch and try to find something that, um, that you get excited about, you know, and oftentimes we don't have a choice in the roles we take. You take the job that comes up and to be able to get uh, to play a character like this is, was a dream. Absolutely. Dion, I want to ask you this. Um, while the show has some funny elements, it's as intense of a show as you'll find on television. So is this one of the more impactful shows or projects you have worked on in terms of the drama and the violence? Yeah, this being a, a <clears throat> darkly comedic, intense yeah. drama, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it was something that I... Like I said, I haven't. I've I've played serious before, or I've or it's been comedy, but not both together like that. And so, yeah, this was challenging because um, it's a fine line between dramatic and funny, and when mm -hmm. to cut it on, when to cut it off, and you know when to you know uh, play the fence on it. And uh, that was probably the the most difficult part or whatever. 
Michael, yeah. I want to ask you this. Sure. Um, you have worked on your share of projects over the years. This is kind of a similar question I asked. Dion, uh, where does Average Joe rank in terms of overall intensity when it comes to the projects you worked on? Um, probably to date, the most intense thing I've done. I mean, in terms of tone, I did a series called Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. And that show got dark. You know, it also was was the fate of humanity was on the line. So we carried that emotion through, you know, four or five seasons. But the the speed and the intensity and the the tone of this show, the fun, you know, this show puts its finger on your pulse and never lets up. It just, the, your heart rate starts going from episode one. Things that I thought would happen in a series of over 10 episodes that might reveal themselves in two or three episodes get revealed in one episode. You think, how where could we possibly go? If they're going to give this information away in, in episode one, where can the show go? And it just keeps up in the ante and the drama and the, the, um, the intensity. So I don't think that I've ever been part of something that, was breakneck speed like this all the time um this yeah yeah so this you know this is new territory for me absolutely this question is for both of you um one of the things um featured in average joe is um every well the cast or really this the main characters are trying to look for uh millions of dollars mm -hmm. hidden by uh joe's father so do you think, do you guys think, did you have the ability to hide millions of dollars from loved ones? Oh, would I be able to hide millions of dollars? <laughs> yeah. Half of it first. But, uh, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> yeah, I would probably go buy like a Lexus helicopter or something. <laughs> you know, give yourself away. <laughs> Look at that. I'm sitting Shit in the driveway yeah. like eBay. It was the weirdest thing. Nobody bid. <laughs> I got a great price. Nobody bid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was even such thing as a Lexus helicopter. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd be great at it. I, I, yeah, I, I, I could squirrel 10 million. No problem. Absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. But last question for me before I let you guys go is, um, uh, again, I really enjoyed the show. Um, the first few episodes I've seen. So overall, what was the best thing about working on this series? Um, the best thing about working on the series was, you know, seeing seeing it get done. These we we had some grueling, grueling days and nights. Yeah. And so when we finally had finished product, it was like we were like elated, like, oh god, like we did it. We okay, we finally completed that or whatever, you know, because a lot went into this, man. Mm -hmm. Uh uh, mentally, physically, like like Mike was saying, like we 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 laid it on a line for this, and uh, to to see it all done and put together is like you know a labor of love. So seeing it finished was most important. That's yeah, yeah yeah. To kind of build on what Dion was saying, that that sense of gratification of being able to put something like this together. What I've discovered is that we built a team and a family as a cast mm -hmm. and in conjunction with Rob Cullen, our creator and the writers and the producers, we were constantly evolving the story Yeah, as it went. And there were days where I was like, I don't know if we're going to make it through this. We were in episode two or three long, long days, well into the night. We're like, man, this is going to be intense. And really I early, that's why I referenced, I pointed to this man right here. He's our leader. He's number one. And, you know, you take your cue from the top down and uh, Dion set the tone and the work that he did and the commitment and the time was so inspirational. That's the gratification I get when you get to work on a project. And I just look across and I see my my peers, my co-stars and be completely inspired by their work ethic. And I was like, OK, I got to step up my game. Yeah. And, and, and I read some Tom Hanks said one time where he was like Tom Hanks is like. He's not really that good. He just surrounds himself around great people <laughs> and it makes him look good. Yeah. And that's exactly what I try to do as well. You know, and like and, and, and one other thing, this is based on true events. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From Rob Cullen, whose yeah. life, you know, this mimicked a situation in his life. And so it was also grueling on him to see this being done. I mean, created as well. So it took a toll on everybody. So it was good to see it finished. Well, we did it. We did it. And it looks good. I did it. Yeah. Well, I'm really proud good. of it. Yeah.
Yeah. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Well, Dion, Michael, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And Absolutely continue right. success to both of you. The average Joe premieres on BET Plus on June 26th. Mm-hmm. But what can fans expect from this series? A lot of twists and turns, um, cliff cliffhangers. Yes. Like you, yeah. you can't, you know what? Expect the unexpected. Right. Very much so. <laughs> Expect the unexpected. There's going to be a lot of themes of like love, what family's willing to do for mm-hmm. one another, stretching the boundaries on that mm-hmm. sense. Yeah. A little bit of crime, a little bit of drama. <laughs> so yeah, unexpected loops for sure. Of course. And uh, Tammy, I want to ask you this. You play Angela, who's Joe's wife, played by yes. Dion Cole. Um, what can you tell us about your character? Well, she is the rock of the family. She's definitely the spine of the family. And um, she is dedicated to her family. Uh, she will do yes. anything for her family, mm-hmm. um, as you eventually find out as you watch the show. Um, and she just just will do anything for them, loves them, has given up, sacrificed some things, as you find out a little later, um, for them, but she wouldn't have it any other way. She recognizes her husband as being a hardworking man and a, and a good, good dad, and she's settled into her life, so she's good until... Until. Until. <laughs> until, 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 until. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, Ashley, I want to ask you this. You play Jennifer, who's the daughter of Angela and Joe. What can you tell us about her? Um, Jennifer is a very bright light, super smart, charismatic, overly in love, in a sense, <laughs> young in that in that nature. And I want to say she's a good vessel between both her parents. She has that fight like her dad and that sensitive side of uh, Tammy's character, Angela, yeah. like of her mom. So she goes to both of them in that sense. So she's in the, like in the middle of both of them, I would say as her character sense. And she's definitely um, a rooter for love. That's all I'm gonna <laughs> say, if I can put it that way. Love is big on uh, Jennifer, for sure. Right. So. I got a chance to watch the first few episodes of the series and I have to say it's very intense and there's a lot of action, a lot of drama. There's a lot going (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) There's a lot going on in those first few episodes. So um, but ultimately what attracted and this question is for both of you, what attracted you to work on a series like this? Well, I just came off of um Queen Sugar. Um, right. It's very, very different. The pacing is a little slower. Um, <clears throat> no, no action, hardly. Uh, not yeah. like this, yeah. you know. So uh, that was one attraction. But just reading the pilot, I mean, it was amazing. Yes. And if something can grab me from it, uh, some scripted and it hasn't even come to life yet, like really come to life, yeah. that is an excellent sign. And that's why I, I jumped in. Yes, <clears throat> I would definitely piggyback on what Tammy yeah, said. Yeah. Sorry to cut you no, off, no, but I definitely ahead. agree. <laughs> yeah. When I read the pilot, uh, I was just like, "This is so, this is great," because it, there's these elements of so much, like the drama, the comedy, and then the suspense. It's mm-hmm. all in one, and I was like, "Is this in the first episode alone? Is this just in the pilot? All of these things are happening." So I yeah. felt like if a show just gave me that from episode one, from their pilot, it was just like I was like, "I have to see what happens in the series." I have to see what's going to happen next. So I love the script. It was the yes, script that pulled script. me in for sure. <clears throat> Kudos so this to Rob Cullen. Yes. There you go. There you go. Man. Man. Yes. And this is based on a true story or true events. Am I right? Yeah, it's inspired by loosely. Loosely, yeah. <laughs> yeah loosely. Loosely. It's not yeah. the whole thing. If so, I'd be like, Rob, you are crazy. Rob, Your life you are crazy. Away. You need to be locked up. Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> but no, like loosely based on it. Yes. Right. So. So where does this project, again, this is a question for both of you, where does this project rank for you in terms of everything you worked on, in terms of um, just overall intensity? (laughs) Ooh, I guess I'll (laughs) take that one. If if I speak for myself, so this is my first major leading role. So I think just coming in and just learning and taking in what everybody else is doing and grasping everything like a sponge, I'm so grateful for it. So I didn't know what to expect so I, I just went in there and I just did my thing and everybody was helping me and just was so sweet, especially Tammy. <laughs> and um, I think that the intensity is, I never done a lot of 
things like stunts or anything of that nature. So it was just locations and all, all of that was just so new for me. So I think the whole thing was just like a wow for me, if I want to say on intensity level. And I just, I, I'm really, really so proud of season one. And I know from Tammy's acting, the intensity was definitely <laughs> on her. So if she gonna take this question, she gonna tell you. You too. You did, she did a great job phenomenal. as well. And I'm not just oh, saying yeah. that. I don't give compliments like that. So I, don't, I try to find the truth in something yeah. like that I can because it comes across. You can read it in my face. She lying. <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, she did a great job. We had a lot of long hours. But yes, to answer your question, um, intensity level probably uh, for me was ranking on a, on an eight. I've never done anything like this before. Yeah ever so uh, and that's the beauty of what we do too because you never know who you're going to meet yeah. what we're projects you're going to be right exactly we're locations yes. so yeah it was it yeah. was a ton of fun hard as hell but yeah. ton of fun mm -hmm. ton of fun definitely definitely so um you know this is a question this is another question for both of you um one of the things that is included in this series is this trying to find millions of dollars that joe's father has hidden so do you think, do you two think you could have the ability to hide millions of dollars from your loved ones? How many millions are we talking? Yeah. Ooh. That's a good question. Because <laughs> family actually. members are greedy. Yeah, right. so yeah, have yeah my, you're I right. I have to put my stuff in the stash. I might have to put things away. <laughs> no, I think, well. I think everybody have a price. That's what yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. um, and so for to go through all of that, you we may have to be talking about billions yeah. here, or at least one billion. And then yeah. I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna take the ride. Yeah. Is this a yeah. lot of heat packing with yes. all that, with all that money? It definitely has to be the right circumstances. <laughs> but if I'm yeah. hiding that much money, it's for good reason. Of course. Is, it, is that what you tell yourself? Yeah, to make yourself feel better? <laughs> yeah. yeah like it's for good reasoning. Okay. That's how we got to think, Tammy. Come on. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, one last question for me before I let you guys go is, um, you know, ultimately, what was the best thing about working on Average Joe? I think the the, the cast, the people, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, I, I I would I mean artistically as a uh, as an as an as a actress it was very fulfilling as far as like being able to like do my acting my drama chops and my my comedy chop, chops yeah. and you know some a little bit of action I get to do so mm -hmm. all of that's great but really working with a nice cast with people who like get each other and help each other and we all have the same goal of, of making the best project possible yeah. to me was the best experience of all of this yes i would have to agree with tammy just the cast the relationships we all developed it made it a lot easier especially for me going into work and then like i said before this is my first lead role so when i went in they just took me in, embraced me. It wasn't, I didn't feel like small at all. Yeah. So it was just a humbling experience in that sense. And even the crew, like beyond the cast, oh, yeah. the crew, they were amazing. They were a joy. They didn't, our camera and Rick and everybody, they were just so pleasant every day, even with the long hours, because we dealt with a lot of long hours and they always were just upbeat. Yeah. So the energy was just great going yeah. to work. I will say that the energy was great. Average Joe premieres on BET Plus on June 26th. Uh, how does this series stand out from some of the other action drama shows that are out right now? It's black. It's very black. Yeah. Done. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, I literally, I've been saying for a while, which um, I don't know, either he said it first or I said it first. Somebody we, said it first. Somebody said it first. Um, but Ozark meets black people. Um, <laughs> to me, that's what the show is. And I was such a fan of Ozark. Um, I loved that series. And so, yeah, I really do think it is like so many other um, action drama shows in that, you know, it's, it's suspenseful every week. We're at a cliffhanger, um, you know, but it really is the biggest difference for me is exactly Exactly that, that we're looking right. at um, uh, a black lead and we're looking at a black family and we're looking at black friends. We're looking at a, 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 in Pittsburgh where this thing mm -hmm. is at a, a middle class black, you know, sort of surroundings. But I also think that it's nice to see um, people like Michael Trucco come in and uh, be able to be a part of the family. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's also really interesting that our bad guys aren't like other other black folks on the street. Right. Our bad guys are, you know, Russian, um, mob. Russian mob. I mean, that's a really different sort of um, direction, you know, than, than what 
we usually see. I feel like we live a lot in uh, the uh, the black audience and, and, and black programming, um, live mm-hmm. a lot in the world of, as you say, kitchen sink dramas mm-hmm. or broad comedy, or, you know, it's, 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 um, it's, it's streets, you know, it's, it's cops and robbers. It's mm-hmm. we out here a slanging. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. what it is. A lot yeah. of drug crime, you know, that world or uh, that broad comedy. And so I think this is a really interesting blend. Yeah, I agree because it's a working class family mm-hmm. who's suddenly thrown into a crime world that they know nothing about. Uh, an international crime world in a lot of ways. So I, I think that is what's interesting is that, you know, like like she said, like I think a lot of times when you are dealing with a, a crime drama with black folks, you're dealing with drug dealers and folks who are who are career criminals. Mm-hmm. And what I love about this- These people don't know what they're doing yeah, at these all. these people have no <laughs> idea what they're doing. Do you know what I mean? I, I yeah. think it, it's a world that's just as vast as mob ties and international uh, intrigue and all of that, but it's a working class black family in Pittsburgh um, who are trying to find things out. And it's really about friends and family and what you're willing to do for friends and family and, and people who don't necessarily know what they're doing, but know who they love. Of course. And Cynthia, I want to ask you this. You play Kathy, who is not the easiest person to get along with, but what? plays <laughs> right, but plays a vital role in this story. Um, so how would you best describe your character? Um, I always say to me, she is uh, Peg Bundy meets uh, Mary J. Blige. Uh, mm. Peck Bundy, because she's got that like, you know, oh, Al um, attitude about her husband, Leon. Um, you know, she's a, she's bored. She's a bored housewife who's um, tired of her life. And, and it really does. It makes me think about Peck Bundy and the way that what we loved about that married, married with children dynamic um, was that uh, she was fun. You know, she was fun, even though she, uh, you know, hated her life and sometimes seemed like she hated her husband. She was fun about the way she took it on the chin. And I like that. That about Kathy. And then, you know, she's a little Mary J because she got style, though. She got a little flavor. She's going to bring it every yeah. week. Plus, if you remember, uh, you know, you wanted to f- Peggy Bundy. You know? You know, what I mean? you know she was a housewife. <laughs> Thank like, you, baby. You, you ain't never seen really seen that with housewives up until then. So I think she also brings that to it. <laughs> of course. So, uh, Malcolm, I want to ask you this. You played Leon, who's the husband of Kathy, and best friend to Joe, uh, played by Dion Cole. Uh, you know, how would you best describe him? Uh, Leon, I think he's a guy who's, uh, I think he's a loving husband who's in over mm-hmm. his head. Um, I think he's a hard worker, but, um, work has not been going well. And so he's at a crossroads because, um, he's, he thinks he knows where his marriage is going and it turns out he, he might not. Um, and you know, I think he thinks he knows what he's willing to do to, to save his company, to save his marriage and all of that gets challenged, um, every turn that that he's faced with. Um, so I think he's a guy trying to do the right thing, trying to mm-hmm. save his marriage, mm-hmm. trying to save his company and trying to save his best friend and getting caught up uh, with everything that happens in between. Of course. And, you know, I got a chance to see the first few episodes of the series and it's as intense as, uh, as a show as you'll find just with mm-hmm. nonstop action and drama and comedy as well. So mm-hmm. what would ultimately, what drew you guys to the series? We both, um, when we read this, uh, script, uh, it changed everything for us um, because I think it was on our radars, you know, um, our really our really good friend, Eric Dean Seaton, g- directed the pilot. Um, so we had heard about it from him in addition to from our, you know, reps or whatever. But um, I think uh, there was maybe like hesitancy about whether or not this would be, you know, something we were interested in doing. But as soon as we read the script, it literally went from all questions to all exclamation points. Um, the script is, it just was so solid. Uh, these were characters that I think um, we were excited to play and a story that I was excited to tell. Um, and uh, the, the, just the scale of the show, you could feel it. Um, and I was excited to see um, how the team at BET and, and our director would bring it to life. Um, yeah, I just, as soon as I read it, I knew uh, this is different. Yeah. And I'm excited to be a part of it. Yeah. I mean, particularly for me, I don't get to do a lot of uh, all black cast shows mm-hmm. or, or, or even majority black cast shows. And so to do this um, and play with my peers in that way and on such a scale and a level, um, because, you know, I think it is bigger than a lot of their other shows in terms of its scale, in terms of uh, the story that they're telling, in terms of 
the blood and the guts <laughs> um, and how sprawling it becomes and how big this world becomes. I think it's it's something that folks haven't seen um, and probably have been hungry to see for a while. Um, and we aim to uh, satiate. Ooh, Absolutely. satiate. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Well, uh, Cynthia and Malcolm, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it and continue success to both of you. 